Hello folks, I'm out in the garage today. Today we're going to take the uh, bolts out of the bed, get that ready to come up, and we're going to throw some primer on this thing. So just thought I'd bring you along for the ride and uh, see how much I can get done all by myself. Taking out these bed bolts, uh, just wanted to let you show you uh, a little something. I got under here last night and looked at them. They're not rusty. So I went ahead and sprayed them down with some uh, PV blaster to make sure that they would come off pretty easy. I got, there's four of them in the front. Two like this one, short ones, and then two long ones. Like this one here. See if I need some light on the subject. Uh, about to take these two out. I've already taken off the long one on the other side, and uh, it came off without a problem. The only problem I do have is I don't have anybody to help me to hold it down, and uh, because the, then the the square portion pops out of the bed and just spins. So I've got a little brass weight to hold them down. Uh, and hopefully that'll, that'll be my second man. Uh, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when I get them out. The ones in the back are a little bit harder to get to. I had to take the the wheel down, the spare tire. Here's that big piece of brass I was telling you about. It's pretty heavy. Holds down that bolt. It pulls right out. Sure wish I was a little taller. There we go. That's a long boat. You may have to look into replacing those, especially, well, both of them actually. They're the only thing rusty in the bed of the truck is the heads of these things. It's not too bad. I guess they could be cleaned up but they are pretty crusty. Yeah. Still round. I'll see what I can do about cleaning those up and painting them. All right, on to the others. Now, I've watched all kinds of YouTube videos online before uh, trying to pull these cab bolts off. Uh, and one thing I always noticed is that everybody that had trouble used impact wrenches. I'm um, here to tell you that the secret to getting these things off is the gentle, slow, easy way. Uh, I used basically just a, either a wrench to break them loose or a uh, ratchet and a socket and uh, just took my time, made sure I had my heavy piece of brass on it to keep it from spinning and just walked it down instead of pushing up on it and let it and it come out out of the square and uh, everything went fine I got all eight of them out without any issues the last very last one uh, was probably the most difficult it was the hardest to get to had bolts for the bumper I think uh, 
that was blocking the, the, um, the socket from getting in there real good, but I managed to get a, a smaller socket in there and get it done. But here's what it looks like. Some of them actually even have red paint on them from the factory. I'm, I was kind of surprised about that. Some of them didn't. Those, one of those over there didn't. The, the one that, the two worst bolts were the ones in the very back. These holes here, right here. And unfortunately, those are also the very most difficult to get to underneath. So, go figure. And I got the back one, or the front ones out too. Can't see what well, you can see over there a little bit. One hole and one bolt laying there. Um, this side over here didn't have any paint on them, neither one of the bolts. It's kind of odd. I really don't understand that, but I'm not part of the manufacturing process, so I'm sure there's part of it. But they're all out. The bed's loose. Uh, now I can slide it back. I don't want to take it off. I don't have room for it. And not only that, I don't want to crack all my brake lines lo loose, if I can help it. But I do want to get in there to be able to take those cab corners or, or work on these cab corners down here. As you can see, there's not a lot of room down in here to uh, work between. So I need to get it back, you know, about this far, I'd say. That give me room to get the grinders and the welders and stuff like that up in there. And uh, if possible, I would like to paint the area between the bed and the cab. I don't know if. I'm going to be able to gain that much access or not, but we'll see what happens. Okay, the truck is masked. I'm not masking off this window over here on the driver's side because I'm not painting that door. Uh, and all I need to do now is wipe it down with some acetone and go ahead and shoot it. I'm going to shoot the hood. This fender that door and a part of the bed back there that I've got the bare metal and of course the top and any, anything I see bare metal on. So that includes this stuff back here. So just a helpful tip, whenever you guys are getting ready to do this, make sure you find the, the tape that you used 15 years ago to, to uh, tape up the baseboards in your living room uh, that way it takes you four times as long to, to get the job done and, and you enjoy it a lot more. <laughs> I'll bring you back when it's painted.
Well, I got some primer on the on the truck. Uh, unfortunately, the new gun that I bought at Harbor Freight didn't work any better than my old Binks that hadn't been used in 15 years. Uh, it just spit and sputtered, and I, I don't know what it is. Maybe something's loose, or I have to check it out once I get it cleaned up. Uh, never really had any problem out of stuff from Harbor Freight, but I'm not really happy with that. But here's what it looks like. Like I said, I was just going to paint the hood, the top, and the front two fenders. I did a little bit of spot priming on the other door, uh, simply because it had bare metal. But uh, there's the top. This will, uh, of course, have a lot of dirt in it, but it's all going to be sanded and, and reworked anyway. I'm just wanting to get some protection on it while uh, I'm working on other things. So next in line to be worked on, which I'll probably, I may start tomorrow. I'm not sure, but uh, I've got this panel here laying here on the ground it's an it's a side of a bed that my neighbor gave me the top of it has some surface rust here and there but but nothing all the way through like this one does so I've got some lines marked out I'll start cutting that off I need I do need to get a, uh, a spot weld cutter and uh, that'll help me um, drill out the spot wells to be able to take the pieces off of the other one without hurting it. 